The 15th ranked Wolverines and their fabulous five freshmen make their debut in the noisy wild Breslin Center. The 13th ranked Spartans are well rested after their big road win last week at Purdue. Matt Stegging up back in the lineup following his ankle injury at Minnesota. Both teams need a win to stay in the heat of the Big Ten race. The state's great basketball spectacle is about to begin. Starting lineups, first of all, brought to you by First of America Bank. For Michigan, Chris Weber, James Boswell, Jawan Howard, Jalen Rose, and Michael Talley. He's the old-timer played here a year ago. As you see, Matt Stegging, a back for Michigan State in the lineup. He missed the only game of his career against Purdue last week. Wayne Stevens, Mike Poplowski, Martin Montgomery, and Sean Rushburn. Fired up, Greg. This is going to be a big one. No question about it. The emotion flying already. This crowd very much into it. And Michigan looking rather confident from the start. They're not going to be in awe of anyone. Michigan State opens in the man-to-man -man here. Both teams coming off impressive wins in their last outings. Michigan by 15 over Wisconsin Saturday. And the Spartans won a week ago at Purdue. And that was without Stegging, of course. Shot clock at 18. Michigan showing a lot of patience. I think that's a big key for them tonight. They've got to be able to work the basketball, not be forced into hurry. Ill-advised shots against the Michigan State team, and there's a fantastic right-handed shot by the left-handed Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose gets two right away. Montgomery the other end for Michigan State on the floor. Bosco will pull it down for the Wolverines. Well, if Rose is hot, that'll certainly get Michigan State. He's struggled a bit lately. So the Spartans have failed in two offensive tries. Tally down the lane. It's added away. Poplowski wants to go along to Respert. Sean Respert for three. Yes. Oh, he's fired up, and Steve Fisher, he's asking for a travel on that call. He thought the rest had caught it. He never dribbled. It took a few steps, but he got the three to go. This team is ranked in the top 20, and they have impressive road wins in the Big Ten at Iowa and Illinois, and they were very good against Wisconsin. Here's Jawan Howard posting Poplowski and knocks it down. You know, he's getting superb inside position. Juwan Howard is on Mike Poplowski. I'm a little surprised. Poplowski, a physical player. I look for him to put a little more meat on Howard and force him out from the basket. Stegging a shot, no good. Matt looked very good warming up. He doesn't seem to have that ankle bothering him noticeably. But his first shot is awry. Again, good job, Michigan. One shot for the Spartans. Greg, are you surprised that Stegging is on the uh, roll? It says Michigan scores Boskel inside. James Boskel. Stolen away by Tally. Numbers are not with Michigan, so Michael will slow it down. Wolverines now with their biggest lead at 6-3. Here's Stegging on Rose. Weber posts his man and scores. Chris Weber. Michigan looking very impressive early on. And they got back well. Cut off the Michigan State transition game. Michigan's inside players, Tim, are getting too good a position. And look out. Weber with Montgomery, and Montgomery stops him. Let's see if it's deliberate, and I believe it. Yeah, he was fouled in the act of shooting, so Mark Montgomery stops Chris Weber. And even lose some confidence, and that seems to be the case with Michigan State right now. They're not playing very confident on their home floor. Yeah, Chris Weber had a big game against Wisconsin, and he looks very good starting out tonight. That's three for him. Michigan on a 7 to nothing run in the last two minutes. And now he's out, and so here's Weber to complete it. But there's the rebound of Vosco, nicely done, and Michigan has another chance. 9-3, Wolverines with seven straight points. Jalen Rose can't get it to go loose, and Popowski with his third rebound. Dwayne Stevens, very improved shooter, knocks down the three, and it's 9-6. to six. Both of these teams are good rebounding clubs. Here's Anthony Miller, a fallaway shot by Miller, up and down. Hot shooter so far, Greg. Yeah, Michigan, they've not looked very young against Michigan State. They, you're right, they've handled the crowd and they've been very patient. Dwayne oh. Stevens, suddenly a perimeter terror with two three-pointers. Man, has he improved. 11 and 9 Spartans whistle, traveling Michigan. Bosco will close a little uh, tighter on Stevens. Now here's Mike Poplowski inside around his man. Posts him and next to down. Mike Poplowski, first two. Spartans moving the basketball. They can be patient, too. Wyshynski moves around Rose, puts it up, and now Chris Wyshynski. The shooting is torrid so far in this game. 17-9. All right, Michigan shooting 27%. You should know.
that the last 27 consecutive teams to play Michigan State have shot less than 50% from the field. Both teams are good shooters, and Michigan should get back in it, and there they do, right there immediately. Freshman Jimmy King pounds it down, and that ends the long run. Demoralizing to have your opponent knock down a desperation shot to beat the clock. And of the five Spartans to shoot it, Zuloff was the last choice. Riley tips it up and in. Eric Riley, who has to get active on the offensive glass. Oh, he can. Riley, along with Weber, very good at going back following their own miss. Michigan with four turnovers now after that Aaron pass. Michigan State in its offense, but the pass to Rusford is away. Wolverines are now five on two. Jalen Rose dumps it off to Jimmy King. He goes inside, and it's knocked down by the Wolverines. Jimmy King, four points for him. Michigan hanging on tough after a tough run. They're only six down now. Michigan, Michigan has settled down nicely. You know, Jalen Rose has not really been a part of the offense for Michigan, and he's their leading scorer. Matt Stegginger with a foul. That is his first one. All right, as you see, Chris is still the leading rebounder, blocks, field goal percentage. And while he has struggled at the line, he's now two out of three. There is only one for four from the field inside. But yet Michigan, with all the problems Greg has had, only five points down. They're right there. Yeah, they're on a 7-2 run of their own. And you really, let me tell you, uh, uh, this Michigan team, we've seen them down before. They played great against the number one team in the country, Duke, after being down in that game, 17 points. They came back and nearly won that game, probably should have won that game. So it's going to get easier for them after this, except for Saturday's game of Ohio State. Baseline shot by Sean Westford is good. Westford. But he has to learn to stop committing the silly fouls. He's fouled out of a lot of games uh, throughout his career, and a lot of them have been... The, spot, the fouls that aren't always smart. Spartans out of sync up because of Michigan's hustling defense. Now Michigan down with the numbers. Jalen Rose dumps it inside. The battle underneath. It comes loose. Michigan battling. Jackson puts it up and in. Ray Jackson. His first two, and now it's 23 to 19. Miss it again. Michigan showing patience. Not a lot of movement inside from Weber and Juwan Howard. Inside a dump off to Howard, and he is fouled. And is that Mike Poplowski? That is. And for big Mike Poplowski of Michigan State, he's active. He's a good rebounder, blocks those shots. And he proved at Indiana he can score, so he can play on the road. Juwan Howard now with 325 20. Spartans by five. Michigan doing a good job of getting down, taking away the post away from Miller. He drew three people and was very lucky to be able to get it out of, out of the trap that time. Chris Papa, he loves that shot. Little six-footer from the side. He practices that all day, every week, every week. Kowski now with six points, 27-20. You know, Judd Heathcote was quoted before the season as saying that a, a team with three stars and two role players will usually beat a team with five stars. And Michigan, Michigan is loaded with stars. And right now, I think some of the players are starting to, to learn their roles and accept maybe a diminished role in this Michigan attack. All right, Jawan Howard knocks it down. Other way, basket counts by Vance sticking up. And a foul against Jawan Howard. Over the back! Mike back they go. Here again from the corner. Westford tell you something, you want to talk about confidence, Montgomery never saw that basket go in. It's closed on by Bosco. Good job by Bosco getting out on that shot. Then he shoots it anyway and then can't quite get it and Weber pulls it away for the Wolverines. Stegging and nearly gets a foul there. Rose goes up off the glass and down. Jalen Rose and they need more points out of him. That's his second basket, four points. Howard, Weber, it doesn't matter. Peplowski, if he's allowed to get position that low, He's going to score. You're going to have to follow him to stop him. They've got to push for Plowski a little farther from the basket. Eric Wiley with four. Cuts it to 11. Out of bounds of those whistle. But i got to give a lot of credit to Steven Stu uh -huh. for improving his outside game, making himself an outside threat. I, I'd agree 100%. Last year, teams, it was almost embarrassing the way they played off of Steven. And this year, that cannot happen. Talley loses it underneath, and Eric Riley, who's had a pretty good first half, now has six there, and it's 37-28. Oh, they got Westbrook where they want him, and he pounced down a three. If you're Michigan, you've got to know who's on the floor that can hurt you. 
in yeah. transition, you want to make sure that the first man you stop is the ball. Secondly, you've got to find respite. So we'll get one last offensive thrust here before the intermission. Tally down the lane hard. Montgomery stopped him loose. Back up. No Riley. No Riley up and in. Eric Riley has kept Michigan in the game himself in the last few minutes. Westford at the buzzer. No. And the crowd will give the Spartans a big hand going off here at halftime. Judd Heathcote has to be pleased. 42 to 30. Michigan State over Michigan. Key to that shooting stat as he takes good shots. Oh, but Steven. I thought that Michigan had really done a good job trapping him along the baseline and using the baseline as a third man, so effectively as a triple team, but he passed the basketball right out of there effectively to, to Poklowski. Two fouls on Mike Poklowski. That one's called inside, and it's pulled down by Dwayne Stevens. They're running, and they've got the numbers. Three on two. Inside, Miller lays it up and in. Great, great by Michigan State. And Lee Miller caught a break on that fast break. A good pass by Redford, but not a very good catch by Miller, but he was able to get just enough control to get it to fly into the basket. Stevens has done a good job on Rose. Now Weber spinning inside. Good job by Poplowski. Montgomery pulls it down. The race is on. He doesn't have the numbers here. On the other hand, he does get it for Redford. They knock it down. You can say all you want about the Fab Five, but there are some other tough freshmen in this Big Ten that can play right along with them. Redford is one. Minnesota's best shot, Leonard's another. Picked in loaded with young talent this year. Jalen Rose for three when Michigan needed nine for Jalen Rose, 54 to 43. Relentless pace by both teams. Usually Kaplowski gets a blow right here, but he's still in the games. Break set. Montgomery down the lane up and gone. Points for Mark Montgomery. Michigan the other way. Ray Jackson for two. Boom. Ray Jackson, very tough. Good jump shooter. Wolverines have played 30 good seconds of defense here. Now can they hold him off? Clock is at five seconds. Poplowski knocks it down. Mike Poplowski. He's having fun. And he's playing out of his head, I tell you. Mike Poplowski, he's shown his hook shot. That time a jump shot. <laughs> They're human too. <laughs> Miller looking for every, anybody open at this point. Down inside, thrown away. Chris Weber now will start the run. Michigan's got the numbers. Four on two. Weber behind his back to Rosen. Good. That's a highlight tape basket there. That's 11 for Jalen Rose. Well, I tell you, Weber shows you his versatility. He keeps the basketball in the middle. He has very good ball handling skills in the open court. Here you see the wraparound pass to Rose, who's a very fine finisher in this league. Jalen Rose with a clock stop needs to hit for Michigan, and he does, and there will be a timeout on the floor. 10.53 to go, Michigan State 58, Michigan 48. We pause for these words from your local station. This is the Raycom Network. A three-point threat has no room. Respert, he's being guarded closely. Here's Wyshynski for two, and he pounds it down. Chris Wyshynski, that's four for him, and at 60-48, Michigan has played such great defense for most of the possessions, and then at the end, four or five baskets tonight have killed him at the end of the possession. That's three team fouls on the Spartans, so they're nowhere near the one and one Juwan Howard with a beautiful move. They, he hit that shot all night against Indiana. Ten-point game again. Wolverines hanging tough. Michigan State shooting a tour at 57%. Michigan at 41%. Clock counting at 7.29. Baseline shot good by Jalen Rose. He feels it. He gives you that look. A tough, tough shot off the baseline. Inside high feed to Stingham. Michigan's defense is solid. But Benton leaves wide open. Rushford, he can't hit it. Wolverines now with a chance to cut it to single digits. Inside, Jimmy King off the glass and down. Jimmy King. Six points for him at 62 to 54. That just gives the Wolverines some more adrenaline when they cut into that lead. Michigan State trying to work off those screens here. Here's Rushford. He takes the screen and pounds it down. 19 points for Sean Rushford. 6.20 to go. Spartans by 10. I believe in order to be successful at this level, you've got to be able to, to, to come back from momentary failure. And Pol all of these young players on the floor do it well. Rob Polinka hits the three-pointer. 
A rarely used player cuts it to seven, then Stevens is fouled, and that should be four, I believe, on Chris Weber. Anthony Miller back in the game for the Spartans. Six minutes and counting now in the basketball game. The Wolverines trying to cut into a nine-point deficit. I think they can get the ball inside to Weber. He's still being given room in there to, to work. Palenka misses. Weber slams it down. Good position by Chris Weber. 13 for Weber, and it's a seven-point game. Michigan refusing to quit. The Wolverines just keep pounding away at that lead. It's all a matter of staying active, continuing to move. Poplowski goes in. Weber had to let him go. He had to let him go, and Poplowski took advantage of it. Nine-point game now. Wolverines quickly back down the floor. Weber for three. Boom! Chris Weber hits the three-pointer. Oh, you know why they were all chasing him as a recruit? Oh, no question about it. He's, he's a marvelous player. <laughs> Westberg's going to pull up and fire from 12. No, it was a little off balance. Palenka looking for King. King has the angle. Jimmy oh! King cuts it to four. Jimmy King cuts it down to a four-point lead. Eight points for Jimmy King, and Michigan State wants a timeout. He got in. He's got involved. First, a good defense there by number 24, Jimmy King, and they got the rebound. Your defense isn't completed until you get the defensive rebound and they get it out to King who had released on the rest for shot. He avoids the resistance by Stevens and brings Michigan within two within four points. Now the Spartans with a six-point lead. Michigan, let's check the freshman. Rose, Weber, Jawan Howard. They got four freshmen and Rob Polinka in there. So this young Michigan team trying to fight the crowd. The clock of the Spartans here in the final minutes. Boy, Weber being hounded inside by Plowski. They don't want to give him any room. Chris Weber says, I'll try for three. Boom! Chris Weber pounds down a three. Oh, he has stepped up Weber. in a big, big, big way for Michigan. Not just in this game. I think it started in their last game against Wisconsin. That gave him the confidence to come out here and play the way he has, especially in the second half for Michigan. Montgomery down the lane. He was intimidated a bit. Pulled down by Chris Weber. The Wolverines came to play tonight. Give them a lot of credit. They have not wilted down the stretch. Now they can tie it with a three. I'll tell you, Polinka has given them a spark since he's been in there. Jalen Rose for two. Rose follows, gets it back. Rose battles underneath and gets it to go. Jalen Rose, it's a one-point game. Michigan has battled back. They fought back against Indiana to cut it to 73-70. They've cut it here to 70-69. The momentum's wearing dark jerseys, no question about it. Westbrook firing outside, nobody underneath. And Michigan, which has not led since the early moments of the game, with 2.48 to go, has a chance to take the lead. I might add the confidence, too. Wearing dark jerseys, Michigan. They're doing it with four freshmen on the floor. And number three, Rob Polinka. Boy, what a game. What a game. Ebbs and flows for each team. The Wolverines have been dog tough down here the last nine minutes. They've been on a big run here. 12 to 2 Michigan in the last four minutes. The last 4.30. Shot clock at 11. Jalen Rose, no. Loose on the floor. Loose on the floor. Polinka will get a fresh 45. Well, they're doing, they're just out hustling Michigan State right now. They're going to call that foul inside against Poplowski. Mike Poplowski has his third personal foul. You can see the clock, a shot clock at 30. Spartans led by 14 at 42, 28. Michigan has just kept hanging in there. Jawan Howard for the lead. Jawan Howard gives Michigan its first lead since the first three minutes of the game. It was 6-3 Wolverines. They fought back to grab the lead by one with a minute 38 to go. Four freshmen in the lineup at the moment for Michigan. Oh, and... Tell you what, Michigan State does not look comfortable offensively right now. They are out of sync, as you can see. Montgomery rallies and keeps it. Shot clock at 22. Miller inside to Poplowski's foul. Chris Weber prevented a certain two, though. That was a good foul. Four fouls. That was a good foul. Nonetheless, a good foul. 15 for him tonight. A team that is allowed to hang around is a very dangerous team. So you've got to give Michigan credit. They did, in fact, not hang around for a very long time, right around that 10, 11, 12 point mark. And I take you back to the, the short free throw that time by Poplowski, but I only take you back seeing that the turning point for Michigan was the offensive foul that was called on Stevens, which negated a three point shot by Westbrook, which would have gave the, the Spartans a 15 point lead. Michigan took over from that point. 
and it has led to this, a tie game with a minute 13 to go. It's just like starting all over and telling these teams they get 78 seconds. Michigan State has to have at least one more possession. Now what does Michigan want to do? Who do they want to go to? I tell you what, they got a variety of people they can go out there. Weber, he's inside. They've got Juwan, excuse me, uh, Juwan yeah. Howard inside. Weber is pushed by Mike Poplowski, his fourth. Weber is a very poor free throw shooter. Tonight, though, he is three out of four. Two shots. That's a part of his game that must and I'm sure will improve because he's a big tough guy inside and he's going to draw a lot of fouls. He's got to be able to make teams pay for fouling him by knocking him down at the free throw line. The problem is he gets it back. Now Michigan on the shot clock. There will be about a six second difference and Michigan wants a timeout. Tim, I can remember being in situations just like this as a freshman at Michigan State, but I had the luxury of seniors on the team. Terry Furlow, Benny White, LaVell Rivers, guys like that that I could look to and get confidence because they were there. Jalen Green throws it away. 35.6, you can watch the clock for yourself. Here we go. What are we going to do? Players to watch, of course, Rethkert, Steginga, Toplowski, Montgomery on penetration. Wolverines are going to chase them all over floor. There's the clock now getting down. Jawan Howard inside protecting. Here's Westbrook for three. No, it's loose. It's back. It comes back out to Dwayne Stevens with 13 seconds to play. Oh, Stevens went over Weber and got that rebound. Now they're going to play for the win, it looks like. They'll take one last shot. If they miss, we'll go overtime. Westbrook drives in, batted away, loose. Two seconds. Montgomery at the buzzer. No, it's loose, and we are going to overtime. Huh. They let them play. They could have called some fouls there. But Tom Rucker told us before the game, we want to let them play. We don't want to decide these games on questionable fouls. I think they did the right thing. We know Weber has four. We know Peplowski have four, has four, that could be key. Jalen Rose will take the tap and Michigan now goes on offense. They're not fab freshmen anymore, they're freshmen plus one full game in East Lansing. <laughs> Good point. They've grown up a lot tonight. Here's Polinka. Well, I'll tell you, if he's a role player, it's a go in there and fire, and that's a three-pointer at Michigan with a three-point lead. Well, I really find it surprising that they leave Polinka open like that because he's already nailed a big three late in the second half uh, of the game during regulation, and to be given a good look like that uh, it's very difficult to figure out if you're Michigan State. As much as Sean Westford has done, he'll have to do more. He has 21, but the Spartans are going to need his shooting. They just don't have the movement that they had early in the game. Uh, Michigan State, you see, Petlowski was the only one that popped up to relieve the ball pressure on uh, Montgomery. No one else moving there. Doing a great job of keeping Westford away from his basketball. The link is a great story. They didn't think he'd get any playing time, but he's battled in practice, made the most of his opportunities in games, and he's here in crunch time. Weber with a hook shot, and he gets it to go. Chris Weber knocks it down. Michigan with its biggest lead of the night, 76 to 71. Down to 3.45 to go in overtime. They've got to get the ball in the hands of Westbrook. He's being... He's being shadowed by Jimmy King. Inside of a Pulski, Jawan Howard pulls it away, and the Spartans are in trouble now. Michigan, with just four losses in a 15th ranked team in the country, hanging in their tough. Now they want to run some clock. But if they are in control and can afford to use the clock, Michigan State has to get up, play the passing lane, and really force some tough passes. Put pressure on the ball if you're Michigan State. Four freshman and Rob Polinka, a little used veteran player. He doesn't play very much at all, but he has been sensational here in the final eight minutes plus the overtime. Shot clock at 15 now. They're going to have to stop him here. Rose goes in. He is fouled. That'll go against Michigan State. And I believe Dwayne Stevens will have it. For Michigan State, if they lose this game, how demoralizing will that be? All the emotion spent and Indiana just waiting in the wings. Aaron Rose is having a big second half. He has 14 points. Now it is 77-71 Michigan. What a win this would be for Steve Fisher. I don't know if they'd catch Indiana after a win like this, but they'd sure catch a lot of teams with the schedule they have left. Aaron Rose calmly puts it up and down. They scored the first seven points. The only seven points in this overtime period. Seven straight for the Wolverines. 2.55 to play. Spartans need something good to happen. They've got a three-point shooter with Shinsky with Westbrook for three. Yes! 
Sean Orsford. Just when they have to have it, he gives them three. He's got 24, and it's a four-point game. Plenty of time, 240. Oh, plenty of time, but if I'm Michigan State, I put the ball in Rushford's hands. I win it with Rushford or I lose it with Rushford. He seems to be the player most unaffected on the floor, the most confident player for Michigan State. Michi Michigan continues to work that clock. They want to run the clock. There's 26 on a 226 as you see in the game. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Now Michigan State does not want to foul. Jalen Rose against Wyshynski. Mismatch inside. Polinka out of bounds. Foul call. Mark Montgomery. I'm scrambling to see what he's shooting from the free throw line, but I would have to think they'd rather have him on the line in this situation than Chris Weber, but no, he misses also. That was his first attempt tonight. Michigan with four missed free throws in the second half, 78-74. Either way, the Spartans could catch him in two possessions. So Polinka now has seven points off the bench, 79-74. 2 10 to go. Gut check time for the Spartans here. Incidentally, Polinka was a 100% free throw shooter going into that free throw, had come into the game shooting 9-9 nine nine from the free throw line. Spartans want to get Poplowski in a screen situation here so they can perhaps fire the three and Montgomery will do it. Now they need a rebound and Chris Weber has it stolen away loose but picks it back up. Here's Palenka. He'll pull it back out with a minute 47 to go. Good play by Palenka that time. No advantage. Got it back out. They'll work the clock. We're down to a minute 40. Shot clock at 29. Michigan desperately running the floor. You got to be in good shape to stay in here. 19 seconds on the shot clock now. Shinsky follows, follows Jalen Rose. That's not the man they wanted on the line, but they don't have much choice now. He is four out of seven. One and one. I tell you what, he's done a good job of, of directing this Michigan attack. They've had the ball in his hand through most of their comeback. And he hasn't looked for his own offense very much. And he has found guys like Palenka, Weber, of course, and Howard on the inside. Jalen Rose could put him up by more than two possessions with this one. But it doesn't happen. Loose. Who's it come down to? Out of bounds. Michigan will get it with a minute 23 to go. This was clearly a situation where Michigan State needed to win this game in regulation because they were out of momentum. They were second-guessing themselves. They were a little nervous out on the floor. In fact, had been stunned by this Michigan comeback. And when it went into overtime, everything favored Michigan. Yeah, their foul. That'll go against Mark Montgomery. That is his third personal. 18, 19 points for Jalen Rose. He really needs one free throw. That will make it a three-possession situation for Michigan State with a minute 14 to go. That missed. Not all that critical, but he needs to make this free throw for Jalen Rose. Steve Fisher never changes expressions very often. Jalen Rose gives them the big break. 20 points for him now, and it's 81 to 74. A minute 12 to go in overtime. Jimmy King gets the job of chasing Sean Rusper. Rusper down off balance, gets it to go. Sean Rusper gets oh, that one to fall. Top shot. He is 26 fantastic. points for Rusper. Fantastic player and doing it with the load of pressure. I mean, each shot, each possession critical for Michigan State. And Rusper has knocked down all five of their points here in overtime. Montgomery falls. This pretty much gets into a situation where he's got to start missing some free throws. I think he is really emerging as the leader. And not a senior, but clearly the leader on this Michigan team and in games like this as the season wears on they'll start looking to Jalen and other players will gain confidence from his confidence knowing that hey they can get the ball in his hand and he can oftentimes get the job done for them that makes Michigan State a three possession team in order to try to win 83 to 76 Westbrook's going to have to go a little bit harder they need a screen for Westbrook to spring him they got to have a screen on him 39 seconds. You see what it is in overtime. Wyshynski is fouled by Rose. They did not want that. Steve Fisher is furious with Jalen Rose. And believe you me, as you well know, Spartans need two here. This is a one and one. He is two for two. Excuse me, he's not been to the line tonight. 
five points for Wyshynski. So now they are within two three-point field goals of perhaps tying it, if you want to look at that, with 35.5 to go. That hurts, and it comes back to Michigan. They'll have to foul. Wayne Stevens knew it. That's his fourth. Rob Polinka here just continues to put nails in the coffin of Michigan State. Spartans would drop to 3-3, three and three and Michigan would go ahead of them in the first division at 4-3 and three if this continues on to a Michigan victory. Yeah, Heathcote has his best three-point shooters in the game. He may need more than that, 85-77. They can't take a lot of time getting this shot up. Down the lane, Wyshynski goes up, knocks in a two. Chris Wyshynski now with seven, cuts it to six, down the floor, it comes tipped out of bounds, stops the clock, Michigan with 20 seconds to go. 85-79, Michigan with a six-point lead, 19.6 seconds to go. Here is Jawan Howard now on the line. He is over one there tonight. This is just nails in the coffin. Michigan made its free throws. Wolverines are going to have some impressive uh, headlines in the papers across the state of Michigan tomorrow. Of course, a big job for the Spartans. Now, great to have to get over this and come back and play Bobby Knight in Indiana. That's going to be tough. Judd Heathcote, he has his work cut out, but if anyone can do it, he can bring this team back. He can put this thing into perspective quickly. Westford for three, no. Oh, here comes Jalen Rose to put the exclamation point on it. Michigan is going to win it, going away in overtime, 89-79. Here are the final uh, shot, uh, perhaps, of the game. And look at Chris Weber and the Michigan Wolverines. A miraculous comeback tonight in overtime to defeat Michigan State, 89-79. Their first win in the Breslin Arena.